Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I'm going to talk about pinball legs. Um, one of the biggest problems with pinball machines and these legs is that people will sometimes tighten these things down too tight and strip them. And it's very easy to do that and it creates a big problem. Um, you know, you're sitting here torquing on this thing, you know, you're, you're excited, you want to make sure the legs are really solid, and you do it too much and you strip the inside. And then you're screwed. Then the, then the game doesn't sit right, it wobbles, it's unstable. So let me show you what's inside on the other side of that. For many of the games, there's two kinds of plates. There are these old kind here, which are just like kind of like a single thing. They're threaded, and there's two screws. And this is for Bally Williams, but it's similar for a lot of games. And so this basically is on the other side, and uh, these things screw into them. And you can see it's a pretty flimsy little metal piece. In this case, look, this has been bent from um, being torqued into it too much. So the threads in here are stripped, and it's ruined. Now, you can get these, and you can replace them. It's obviously just two screws. Pop it off, screw some new ones in. They're about $4 right now. Um, there's also a better quality one you can use, which I recommend, which is this guy right here. This is, a, this is a nice plate, and it actually helps reinforce the sides as well. So this would go in right in here on the inside, and instead of two screws holding it on, you have six, and uh, you can you know screw in the ground braid or whatever you want. Uh, you can even screw in there too. So. It's, uh, you, it's still possible to, to, uh, to, to screw up the threads on these two. So you always want to be really, really careful when you're tightening these things up. Don't tighten it too much. You can ruin it. So let's take a look inside of this game. I've replaced, I've replaced one of them. So at the far end of the cabinet, you can see there's the original with just a single bracket in there. Now what happens... Something sometimes as a stopgap measure, you can um, you can take a nut and you can screw it on the inside if that thing gets stripped, and you can screw it on the inside and you can hold it with a wrench and tighten it from the outside, and that's one way to get to get it working if you strip it. It's a real pain in the butt though because when you need to move the game and take the legs off, you got to remember you left that nut on there because you can't unscrew it from the outside unless you get up here up top and do that too. So it's a kludgy fix. It's, you know, it happens sometimes when you've got to just move a game, you've got to set it up. So that's the old one. Let's go around and I'll show you the new, the new plate that's been put in on the other side. Much beefier, much bigger plate there. And it's also screwed in on the sides, so it's helping keep the cabinet together too. And some of these cabinets, you know, quite often if there's some problems with the legs, there's some problems with the cabinet. So... I'm going to put a few more screws in there and make that nice and solid. You can see the ground braid is running behind it instead of in front of it on the, uh, the other one. And that, that's just a matter of preference. I didn't want to remove the ground braid, so I just put it over it. So it's making contact with it, and it'll be fine. And uh, there you go. That's, that's one way of fixing these things. But you want to obviously be very careful about tightening these things up too much, or you can just you know, mess up the legs. So the, the bigger plates are about eight bucks, maybe a little more depending upon where you get them from. Smaller plates are about four dollars. So for a little bit more, you can put a nice beefier plate in there. You're still gonna have the same problem. You gotta be careful. Do not over tighten those things or you can strip that. And uh, if worst case scenario, you do strip it, you can use one of these nuts on there and uh, that'll at least hold it temporarily until you can get it, get it fixed proper. So another little tidbit of information you want to be really nice to these legs. Don't over tighten them. And uh, for more, visit pinballhelp.com. And uh, thanks for watching.